by way of introduction, I'd like to um, congratulate Niall Williams uh, on the great success of his wonderful book, uh, This Is Happiness. Um, the way he describes life as it was in West Clare in the 1950s, it's, uh, it's expressed with accuracy and I would dare say affection and great beauty. And uh, uh, my experience of, of West Clare in the 60s and 70s, I don't think things had changed uh, very much. It was very, very similar. So I must say on reading it, 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 it just filled me with a lovely, warm, nostalgic glow. Um, as a family, we're flattered by and very proud of uh, my Uncle Junior Crehan's cameo role in, in, in the novel. And uh, I'm sure that uh, he would be equally flattered and proud of it. Um, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we were unable to get a, a family group together for this event. So uh, my young friend and concertina player, Liam O'Brien from uh, Milltown Melbay, uh, has come to my rescue. <laughs> and uh, Liam is uh, descended from the Telty musical dynasty, uh, which stretches back just like the Crehan family, about five generations or so. Uh, his granduncles, uh, Martin Telty and J.C. Telty, they were great friends of Junior's, um, pipers and flute players, and uh, they played along with Junior in the, and Willie Clancy in the, in the local Cayley band, the Lachton Nafe Cayley band. Um, so to come to Junior's music, um, Junior had three main sources of inspiration for his compositions um, that were I suppose, aspects of his daily life. Uh, there was engagement with nature, working on the land, and uh, the occasional encounter with super supernatural beings. <laughs> so, um, the first set of tunes kind of covers all those uh, aspects, if you like. Uh, it's a set of jigs, and the first jig is called um, the Lucrachan. And the Lucrachan is a class of a leprechaun that descends down chimneys at night um, to pilfer and steal whatever he can get his hands on. And uh, Junior wrote uh, this tune after an encounter with such a, a creature. Um, the second tune is called The Miscovered Mountain. It's probably Junior's best known uh, tune. And I suppose he describes how he came to it himself. Uh, Mount Callan's Hills, as I look to the east, in the early morning were covered with mist. A bird's thrill on a tree gave me a notion that's how I composed the mist-covered mountain. And we finish out the set with a tune uh, called Ich Skap Na Kaka, or Scatter the Mud. Um, and it's not one of Junior's compositions, but it's a tune he liked to play with the mist-covered mountain. So we'll take it away, Liam. Uh-huh. 
Pleasure. Um, Junior, um, he learned music from an early age from his, from his mother, uh, Margaret Baby Scanlon, and her father was a fiddle player and a fiddle maker, and a lot of her siblings was, were, were very fine musicians. Um, um, and the crossroads beside their house uh, became a great gathering place for people to come and listen to and, and dance to music. Um, and on those occasions, there was a, uh, a little otter used to appear in a stream opposite the house, and he used to come out and frolic around the, in the water to the music, uh, much to the amusement of everyone. So Junior wrote a tune in, in tribute to his mother called Paul and Madre Ishke. Um, and again, Junior describes it in his own words. Um, <coughs> At my mother's home, there was a stream it's there that play music and sit and dream. From his hall to the otter came to listen. That's why I composed Paul and Madre Ishke. So um, we're going to proceed that with, uh, with um, two more of the, uh, another reel of juniors called The Mowing Machine, sticking with the, the agricultural theme, and a tune called The Knotted Cord. Now, this one is not one of Junior's compositions again, but it was a tune that was associated with him for a long time, and um, it was recorded, of course, by our cousin, Lee Mogo Flynn, uh, on the, the classic Planksty Black album, under the title of Junior Crehan's Favourite. And Paul and Madrishka was, uh, was recorded by the great flute player, Matt Malai, on his first solo album. So we'll give him a go, Lee. Mm. We'll take a rest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
was um, introduced to the fiddle by a man called Scully Casey, who became his um, principal teacher and, and mentor. And Scully, of course, was father to uh, the great, great fiddle player, Bobby Casey, who was a lifelong friend of Junior's. Um, one of the many tunes that Junior carried from Scully uh, was a tune called Shrohan the Quit. And uh, I think that's... Uh, from stories the junior told that this tune originated with um, uh, the legendary blind and traveling piper uh, Garrett Barry from Ina. Um, and junior was related to, to the, the Barrys to his uh, paternal grandmother. So um, we're going to play two of junior's compositions along with that tune. Uh, <coughs> the first one is called Her Lovely Golden Hair Flowing Down Her Back. And the second one is a tune called uh, Cashelon and Orr, uh, which Junior transposed from the great Munster Air or Rahali's great. So, <coughs> Thank you. 
Junior had a, he had a great love for uh, um, piano singing and a great interest in it. And um, just like the last set of tunes there, the, uh, uh, a lot of airs of songs um, he transposed or converted into, into dance tunes. Um, but he was particularly fond of the, the singers of uh, Connemara and most particularly Sean, Sean at Dunica and also um, Joe Henio. So we're going to play a set of um, slip jigs and uh, the first one is a, a great Connemara jig song on Canavan Morning and we follow it up with a tune of Junior's uh, which probably has the shortest title of any tune uh, <laughs> that was ever put in any tune it's called I Have a House of My Own at Home with a Chimney Above in the Top <laughs> Thank you sir okay. Um, now, Junior also, he, he loved to play for dancers, be it step dancers or set dancers. Um, and when composing his tunes, he, he often used uh, kind of common motifs or patterns out, out of traditional tunes and then constructing something totally unique and new around them. Um, and I, I think this was very clever in a way in that, uh, you know, it gave something for the dancers to hook onto something that they were familiar with but, uh, but the joy of dancing to something new at, at the same time. Um, so we're going to play um, three of his hornpipes now and the first one is called The Hills of Coor uh, which he wrote in honour of the Gleeson family, uh, a wonderfully generous and hus hospitable family. Uh, they had a pub in Coor and Junior played there on Sunday nights for dancers for practically his entire life. <laughs> Um, <coughs> and we follow it up with uh, two other hornpipes, uh, the stack of oats and the stack of rye. And uh, he has a little verse to go with the stacks of oats, I suppose, that demonstrates the point. Um, it's the stack of barley and the stack of wheat were played by Coleman on a record so sweet. To complete the trio, I sat and I wrote the other stack, the stack of oats. And uh, 
there's a little pattern in Junior's tune that's common to, to the other tunes that are mentioned there as well. So, um, We're coming near to the end of our set. Um, uh, Junior, Junior had a lifelong friendship with the great Hill and Piper, Willie Clancy. And uh, when Willie died in 1972, Junior was one of the founders, founder members of Skull Sorrow, Willie, Willie Clancy. Um, and uh, he was his president um, up to the year he died in, in 19, 
98. Um, so to finish out, um, we, we're going to play a set of, we've paired up two of, of Junior's reels, uh, Crehan's Bonnet and the West Clare Railway with one of uh, Willie's Pipe and Classics. And uh, just before we finish, I'd, uh, I'd like to give my thanks to Cora Gunter and Clare Library for giving us an opportunity to play some of Junior's music for you. Um, to Clare County Council and Galway 2020 for their uh, support and a very special thank you to the Food Theatre in Galway for facilitating this recording. And finally, I would like to give my thanks again to Niall Williams uh, for his wonderful, wonderful book. Um, and if you haven't read it, I would strongly recommend that you do so. It's, uh, I, I know you'll enjoy it and it's a real treasure. So uh, we leave the last words with Junior. Um, when going to Ennis one day by train, the sounds I heard activated the brain. The wheels and the rails gave me a note. The West Clare Railway was the tune I wrote. Are you right there, Junior? Are you right? Will you have the tune composed before the night? Sure, it all depends on whether you can put the notes together and you might. No, Junior, so you might. <laughs> okay, Liam. Good. And I forgot to thank Liam for... Uh, for coming to my aid today. So thanks very much, Liam. Uh. <laughs> 